Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we explain how to install Docker Engine on Linux Ubuntu and we explain how to test the installation by downloading or by pulling and running a local Ubuntu Docker image. The process of downloading software images to your local Docker host is called pooling. You can install Docker on Linux Ubuntu using several approaches. In our previous approach, and in the tutorial we created, we explained how to install Docker Desktop, which is the full-size Docker installation. A link to that tutorial will be provided in the description below this video. In this tutorial, we explain how to install Docker by using apt repository. The installation by using apt repository might be more suitable for complete Docker beginners. The official installation instructions are given on the official web page given over here. And in the first part of this tutorial, we will largely follow these instructions. However, besides following these instructions, in the second part of the tutorial, we will test the installation by explaining how to pull an image of Linux Ubuntu to a local host and by trying to run Linux commands inside of a Docker container. This is the most appropriate test of the Docker installation that is not suggested or covered on the official web page. Let's start with the prerequisites. First of all, you need to have a 64-bit computer and you need to have any of the following Linux Ubuntu distributions. Namely, you need to have either Ubuntu 24.04, Ubuntu 22.04, or Ubuntu 20.04. If you are not sure about the version of Ubuntu that you have, you can easily check that. To check that, open a terminal. And in this terminal, you need to type this. LSB underscore release with an option A. And as you can see over here, I'm having Ubuntu 22.04. Okay, so let's start with installation procedure. The first step is to try to uninstall the conflicting packages and unofficial distributions or installations of Docker. To do that, we need to execute this as a single Linux command. So I will copy it and then I will simply paste it over here and I will press enter. This will be actually a for loop that will execute these commands. So let's do this. And over here you need to enter your password and here it is. As you can see over here, I have some conflict, conflicting packages and repositories, so I will uninstall them, just in case that we start from clean installation. Okay, so what's the next step? To install Docker, we need to execute this set of commands, and these commands are taken from the official website. That is, they are taken over here, from here. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video tutorial, in the first part of the tutorial, I will exactly follow these instructions until some part, and in the second part, I will explain something else that is not covered on this web page. Okay, so let's execute these commands. First of all, whenever you want to install something, you need to update. And then, after this command, I usually run this command, sudo apt get upgrade. And this comment, this actually command, is not suggested on the official web page. However, I still like to run it to upgrade everything. And this might take some time. Next, we need to add Docker's official GPG key. To do that, we first need to execute this, then we need to execute this, then we need to execute this command as a single command, and then we need to execute this. Okay, then 
we need to execute this command, which is a single command split it into several lines. If you cannot see this command over here, or if you have problems typing it, you can simply go to the official web page and here is the command that you need to type. Okay, so let's execute this command and let's press enter. This will add the repository to apt sources. And finally, we need to install the Docker packages. First of all, we need Docker CE. And over here, you need to be patient. This will take some time. For example, only this package is around 450 megabytes. Consequently, you need to have enough space on your computer. Then we need to install Docker C CLI. Then we need to install Containered.io. Then we need to install this package. And finally, we need to install Docker Compose plugin. This is also a very important package. Okay, and that should be it. So let's now close our terminal and let's open a new terminal. Over here, I will resize this window and let's continue. We need to test the installation. First of all, let's type this docker version and if docker is properly installed, you should see this. You should see docker engine community and you can see the version over here and other detail and then you can see the actual engine over here and other details. Okay, next. We need to run a Hello World program. To do that, you simply need to type this and enter your password. Okay, now you can see that downloaded newer image for Hello World latest. Hello from Docker. This message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. Let me show you one thing. If you type Docker images, you should see right now the downloaded image. By running actually run hello world, we have downloaded this image to our local computer. You can see the image ID. And we can also run this image now by just typing Docker run and we can specify hello world. with this tag latest and this should again run the hello world and here it is hello from docker this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly okay let's now do a real test what i will do right now i'm going to download an ubuntu image that is i will download another ubuntu version and i will try to run it from my local computer this acts similarly to virtual machine that is we will be running ubuntu linux inside of our terminal so let's learn how to do that to do that you need to type this docker pool ubuntu latest so let's run this and let's see what will happen now it's being downloaded let's see the images docker images and here it is it's ubuntu latest next let's run ubuntu latest here is the command that i will run docker run name then i will give the name to my container first docker and over here i'm running this image so let's run this and let's see what will happen in addition to this notice over here that i'm running bash that is I'm running the standard bash and right now here we are we are running Linux Ubuntu inside of a container let's see the release of our version 
okay, this might not work like this. Let me just double check one thing that I'm actually typing it correctly. Yes, unfortunately, it's not running. However, we can run other standard commands. We can see that we are in the root folder. Then we can run this. Let's see if we can go to the home for folder. Apparently, we can also go to the home folder. And we have our profile and .bash rc files, which are the standard files. And this is super important. Okay. Now, let's exit. Or better, before we exit, let's try to run this. This command will list all the processes that are currently running. We can see over here that we are running as root bash and here's the PID of bash. You can see CPU and memory consumption. Let's now exit from this container without actually stopping it. To exit from this container, we press Ctrl, press P and Q and we are now back. Again, this is the command that I just, just typed. Okay, now what happened over here is that we are outside of the container. However, the container is still running in the background. To verify that, just type docker ps and you can see what's happening. Here's our container ID, here is the image, here is the command when we created this container and status up about a minute that is it's running let's now learn how to stop this container to stop this container simply type docker stop and just give the name of the container and the name of the container should be first docker okay and this should stop the container so be patient Okay, it's going to take a while, however, it's being stopped. And you can verify that by again repeating docker ps and you can see there is nothing running. And finally, let's erase the downloaded image. Here it is. To erase the image, the best approach is actually to do this. Let me erase this. You need to do this, docker rm and then you need to specify the image ID. I'm just going to put this and let's erase the image. Okay, so here's an error. Actually, it's the error from the container, not the error from the image. So we need to specify the name of the container, which it should be first Docker. Okay, let's now verify everything. Okay. Okay, now we erase the particular container. However, we still need to er erase the image. Let's learn how to do that. To erase the image, we need to type docker image rm. And over here, we need to specify this option force and we need to specify the image ID. Here it is. And this will erase the image. And that's it. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.